Hey guys, Coral Blonde Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. I'm Aaron. And we are back with <sighs> Ted Lasso, where last time, Aaron, I'm pretty sure you were the one to lock it in. You think Beard is about ready to die, right? I did not. Uh, I yeah. did not say that. Do you remember him saying that? I remember I didn't say yeah. anything yeah. about baits. So we'll see if Aaron's theory comes true. I, the only baiting I talked about Don't was know. masterful. A, 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 a master baiting. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, yeah, we had a we had an episode where we thought one character was gonna be dead and they didn't, and then yeah, a couple of us, maybe mm-hmm. including Aaron, thought like Ooh, this probably is, this yeah, is a bike accident. Yeah, so mm-hmm. we had that. We had a, a Sam. A, 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 yep, we had Sam meet up with Rebecca. Mm-hmm. Yep, and uh, it was try. not a, a colossal. Mix up. I, I want only the best for those characters. Me too. I, I hope it works out really well. Mm-hmm. I just scared. They banged and enjoyed yep. company. That's very well that worked out. Like more sure. connection there between those two than like whoever her what was his name? Rupert. No, 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 not him. Oh, her boy toy. Whatever the name was in the oh, phone where yeah, it was like yeah. I don't know, it was like something mm-hmm. like Young hunk, you know, <laughs> like yeah. it was along those lines. Yeah, and then we had uh, Jamie dealing with his dad, yes. and then Roy showing up as the big bro. I like yep. that moment as well, which was great compared yeah. with like the uh, the the niece, right? Mm-hmm. Where it was like you can't just be like this all the time. Like there need yeah. to be some softer sides to him mm-hmm. too. And then immediately after, hugs Jamie. Yep. Mm-hmm. Not immediately. immediately. Uh, and then know, Ted after the game. Ted <laughs> finally opened up. Yeah, and talked about something that I think has been bothering him for quite some time. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. like, I don't know if that has anything to do with, with what's going on. She's like, yes, yes, it does. Yes, it does. A hundred percent. So yep. there's a lot going on right now. Let's see what happens next. Bright and early. You're playing this scene again. I know. Hey, Jared. Okay, we'll follow Beard. Hey, coach. Bird by bird. Yeah, this is a different angle. Not that kind of bird. Yeah. There's a van that sits down. <laughs> Look at that moon. That moon is so big. It's CG moon. We gotta do CG moon. Man, Eric, if, if Beard dies, I'm gonna be mad at you. I will be mad at the show. I will be mad at you. You will be inappropriately mad at me. You. Why sh- Why would they kill Beard? I don't know. I don't think they sh- They will. What's he doing? Where's he going? On the tube. Tube? And you said chub wrong. I wish we had more trains. No, it's with two O's. Trains are so cool. Man, that is a great shot. You can tell it's composited because the light on his face doesn't change when he's going through the tunnels and stuff, but it's cool. I mean, that's a feature. It's also not like he's not moving a lot. It's like he's still moving in time, right? Yeah, he's still moving. Normal. He moved normal. Yeah. So he's home? Erica, so I was so worried. So when he broke into his apartment. Erica. You were worried because I was making a lot of sense. You are like, oh my god, I'm being convinced. No, it's just they started back with it again. I'm like, oh no. Dude, this wall is a TV. It's just hanging on the wall, oh, Aaron. Okay. This is really dark and dark. Does anything say sad single man more than a chessboard <laughs> coffee table? Oh yeah, I was yeah. And expected to say things like this. That's a cool coffee table. I hate Coach Beard. Shut up, Thierry Henry. And after Richard Monlaw earned himself. A... That's all in his head. He's having a little moment, huh? Yeah. How many pints are on the table? Yeah. And so, in conclusion, if this is all indeed a simulation, which everything in my experience suggests that it is. <laughs> I love you! Oh, wow. Just like a lost and found? Probably. Like, look at that tie. <laughs> Who's good in the hat? My name is Sarah Coombs. What is your name? None of my business. <laughs> what? He's, he's very drunk. <laughs> Still. He's flirting. He's got her. Look. He's reeling her in. Act cool. Oh. <laughs> A lion's belt. What do you say? <laughs> Amazing. Feel free to strut. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are. Is that strutting? Going What's that doing? Who's this? 
Would you like them in the glass, sir? No. Guys, we were just pouring all over the counter. <laughs> right? No, I do want a glass. <laughs> Where'd she go? Was she even really there in the first place? Maybe he was seeing her as a angles. Maybe if you paid attention in trig, you'd do better. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we uh, have a friendly wager on this show? The uh, twenty quid. Hold on. What's trig? <laughs> <laughs> there you are, lads. Ah. I thought it'd last you. Then where would I be? At Oxford. That is correct. <laughs> we were at Oxford. Nothing like waking up every morning to the sound of the dubs and organ at 8.15. Dude, he's done his research. Mm-hmm. Harry Hill in this pool! Oh, 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 he even knows who he is? I guess. Yeah. That's the McGonagall taught us a lot. <laughs> no, no, don't! Taught us was the value of money. 20 pounds. You're on. Okay, they don't hear about her good. Professor McGonagall. Oh no, she's real. Right? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> is any of this real? Is this what he's seeing as he's dying? The lady in red. In the Matrix, that wasn't good. What a strange episode it's been so far. I like it. But mm -hmm. strange. Is it strange? Yeah. Why is it strange? That's Look at this. psychedelic as fuck. Why is it strange? It's suddenly stranger. There's a jellyfish. No, it was a lava lamp. We can agree to Why is there a three chair setup with lava lamps in the back of this speakeasy? Well, this is where you either take LSD or mushrooms, or you make out. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. My friends are in there! God damn it! I'm sure you know that your trousers are ripped. Is she real? And she's got a tiger print coat. Make it easier for people to kiss my ass. <laughs> yeah, I, we have I want to rip my pants now. I don't want to fix my pants. I look. <laughs> she's a trap. Yes, she's too good looking, and this is too nice of a situation. I feel like I'm gonna be robbed. She's gonna leave me somewhere and five guys can come out and try to take my shoes or something. Man, I love five Why guys. Why would they want your shoes? They're besties, man. They're, they're great. They're well, waterproof. This rack is like my memoirs. This is so weird. These should fit. My babe, I'm here, but I forgot my keys. Who the fuck are you? I'm Beard. That guy looks so big. This is a trouserless man I met at Bones and Honey. What the fuck? Oi! I'm the fucking dog! Does he live across the hall? Run. Run. In those pants. In those pants. What is going on? Where the fuck is he? He oh getting a knife? God. Where the fuck is he? Don't go to the roof. He's gonna throw you off. What are you doing? Is your water? Oh, oh. garbage. Oh my god. Man. He went right through that garbage too. Flatten out. <laughs> That's been a hell of a night. Four. Damn it. Did he jump too? He's not fast. You can do it, Spirit. Got one. Just oh. flagpole that shit. Eh. I was hoping he was just like over there. <laughs> that guy's behind there. <laughs> He's silhouetted by the moon. <laughs> He's riding on the outside of the bus. <laughs> That moon is so big. Now where is he? <laughs> oh, shit. Or... Oh, Get out of here! Man, he got away quick. Yeah, he did. This is a dead end. It says exit. It's marked as a fire escape. I think it's a dead end. That's ridiculous. Why didn't you go the way you came in? Come on, man. They're, they're short. You can do this. You are a part of me, things be it. Really? Ah, oh, these fucking announcers. Shut up, Terry Henry! You saw me standing alone. Man. a dream in my heart. Dropped his key. Again. Again. <clears throat> we're running themselves out. He's getting back up. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was a good shot. Do I have a pipe? Come on, man. You want to push it, then you say good night, son. <laughs> Oh man, the big guy showed yes, up. the big guy's here. No longer. Well, what's gonna happen? Is this like only I'm gonna kill him, or what? Dude, he's a good dude. Do you think? Yeah. I think he saw him and now respects him. He left these at our flat. Been trying to find you. Wait, is that why he was chasing him? No, I'm sorry, I lost my temper. Okay. Mary, explain what happened. I think you dropped those. This is the best guy. I'm glad Ever. he grabbed his keys. Yeah. What's up with dropping the keys? You'd be lucky, yeah? <laughs> He's riding a scooter. scooter. 52. 72 messages. missed calls. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I love you. I said I love you. I do love you. <laughs> his phone just died. His phone just died. Yep. No! <laughs> Fuck, and you can't get a taxi. It's <laughs> been a hell of a day. He's... It was really funny. I've done stuff like that. Did you show him yep. what being falling over that? Go to this address. You're gonna tell Renee the beard said it was okay. Don't break it. Damn it, man! Damn it, man! What a fucking night, man! <gasps> there it Wait, is. Is that where she was? It must be. Is this where the club is? This close to his place? I mean, it's where is it a secret she was, club in a church. She was at a club, and that was the cross outside. Walk this way. Who that guy's guy? voice is incredible, Eric. What is going on? I don't know. Whoa. Would you go this way? No. Would you do this? No. Yes. Coach Howard Beard beat sent you. Home Coach Beard. You, is it, are they a tailor? I'd be safe. Because yeah. they be happy. You don't, they have said, you don't have stories when you do that. I got stories. You don't have stories when you go home. I went to bed. Stories like this end to murder. No, something great. What? It's beautiful. It's light at the end of the tunnel. He's dying. No, that's Nelson Road. Nelson Road? Oh. Pitch. <laughs> oh, and there's a soccer ball here, good. Okay. No. What? It's a football. <laughs> he's doing your thing, Eric. <laughs> yeah. I feel like he's on a vision quest. <laughs> He's on a journey. Yeah. So strange. I don't think he's moving his hips enough for this to work. I think it's fake. No, it's just enough. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> it's Terry I... They're not really there, right? They do food here. For me? Yeah. For me. Oh man. <laughs> I want that guy to be like. Fuck you, Thierry Henry, whatever the hell his name is. Yeah, it's Thierry Henry or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. <laughs> <laughs> Still wearing those pants. Did he ever go home? Was he ever able to? Probably not. Fucking Eric trying to trick me. Make you think Beard's dying and shit. Hey, I told there you were several that. times there where he could have and probably would have died. Like jumping off the building. Like jumping off the building, like getting hit in the face <laughs> with a pipe. <laughs> the pipe would have been the bad one for yeah. sure, right? You gather a crew and you hunt down Jamie's dad at this point now. Right? Yeah. Like we're gonna he is a menace. Ass. Well, he needs, a, a he needs an ass a beater. A pipe is to kill. As long as it's not too late and during the day, right? I guess so. You gotta go to bed. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go to bed. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I very much enjoyed this episode, but it was a very strange episode. It was very strange. Sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like there's just so much about it that like felt, I don't know, abstract or something. I don't know. I think it's the idea, right? Like uh, he, you have Ted there, kind of putting the hitting the nail on the head with like 
once in a blue moon, you know, something just so crazy, so terrible. Like he had once in a blue moon, he had a yeah. terrible night. So many things went wrong. Sure. Yeah. He went through such a crazy, crazy night, right? And it's kind of the idea too when I always hear like people that work in the ER being like, man, full moons are the worst nights. You know, it's just, I don't know why. It's like just crazy shit happens. It's, and as a full moon, it it's lighter moon. outside. You can see better. You end up doing more stuff. No. Nothing crazy. There's no, no. It's not, it's not, not that. fucking werewolves. It's not that. Fucking people, people have lights all the time, <laughs> Eric. Flashlights. I know, but there's, light, there's more light outside, like, it's, everywhere. It's not just that. Mm -hmm. Like, my cats inside go crazy on full moon nights. Yeah. There's something about full moons. Things just go crazy. There's not a like, reason why it's called better. lunacy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> That's what it's from. Seriously. Yeah. Eric's like, it's just more light. Why isn't all the crazy shit happening during the day then? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Crazy shit, huh? crazy shit happens all the day all the time. No, yeah, but not the no, crazy, crazy nighttime. We never That's think that. about all the benign, normal shit that happens there on a full moon. You just, it's just correlation. That's because that stuff happens all the time. <laughs> when weird shit happens, always on the same time, that's weird. Okay. Right? Yeah. But there was that, you know, they would very much put the, uh, literally a blue moon in the sky mm -hmm. many times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, that's just... Yeah, it was far too big and far too blue. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, what are we doing here? Yeah, the, the, there was even, like, two times where we were, like, we're looking down long tunnels with bright lights at the end. I'm like, what? What is the... What, are we evoking him dying somehow? <laughs> it's got stuck in my own head. Yeah. I think they were trying to bait you. All right. I, I mean, he right. talked to God. Well, they, they did him. it massively. <laughs> like, they have him jump off a building. They have him talk uh -huh. to God. They have him see a bright light at the end of the tunnel. They have him standing in the middle of the road. They have him being in a fight and a pipe pulling out. Like, there's different moments they have it where, like, these could be death moments and stuff, too. But even when he put the hula hoop, like, down, I thought, like, oh, man, he's going into, like, an MRI machine. <laughs> what? It's like, that's the only explanation for this crazy episode. <laughs> All this has been in his mind? No, I don't know, yeah. I, I, I mean... I mean, I, I could believe at the beginning of the night he took some kind of slightly psychedelic thing. Mm -hmm. And it just enhanced all of his perception. The only thing I'm curious on is, like, what exactly was that one room? Like, I, I made a joke of, like, ah, oh, you take, like, LSD and you sit in here and watch lava lamps, you know? Like, fucking, this is crazy, man. Like, I, I don't know. It's a, it's a champagne room, I suppose? I don't know. I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there weren't like that was the weirdest part. There weren't like dancers there. <laughs> no, it was just like a really high class. Maybe it was just like a private See, room where you could. And then just have lava yeah. lamps. Don't have that's, lava lamps on TV. That's a part of it. Like it seems like you got to have a membership. This is a very high class yeah. establishment. You come into Oxford guys and whatnot, right? Yeah. And they come in here. Then you have this one weird black light type of room with yeah. lava lamp, like not even like flat screens, right? They were no, like, they were CRTs. Like it was just it was a that was the weirdest part of the episode for me was that room and I'm like I can't explain why this is even existing and that one guy who was like a guard walked in like this is a normal place <laughs> you know like yeah. hey yeah. you gotta get you yeah. get out of here man where's your membership card <laughs> is there a problem sir where's your membership card like didn't say like oh I'm very sorry you know yeah um, but I mean, the, the more I think about it, the more I love it it was I, no, it's episodes a, like this are crazy it's a bizarre yeah. Thing. It's, like a, he, it's like he went on a vision quest. Yeah. <laughs> and then his, his club was very close to his house. Yeah, I guess. I was going to ask. Like, so is the stuff with, with his, <coughs> with, uh, oh, what's her name? Jane, Jane Payne. Yeah. Is that, was that all real? Like the, the I love yous and all that stuff? Like, there was a part of me that's like, wait, he's getting everything he wants now. You know? Like, I think so. That was real? Well, yeah, that was real. Because like, we just didn't go back to it or anything. I mean, well, they were there sure. at the club, which is where she was trying to get him yeah. to come to before, which is actually okay. close to his house, I guess, which yeah. is nice. But I think the thing with that was like, here's the stuff he wants. Yeah. And it's always being stopped, right? Like, he can't go home. He doesn't have his stuff. He, he, he met this one woman, messages. big guy shows up, going to kill you. Yeah. You know, like, oh, there's Jane finally saying I love you. Yeah. I've been wanting her to say I love you. Yeah. I My can't phone call dies. her. I can't text yeah. her. My phone's dead. You know, I like, can't get a taxi. Like it's just all these things, like the whole night, I can't get home because my door's locked, so I can't charge my phone to get a hold of Jane. He, I can't do anything. He dropped his keys three times, only to, in his need, have it be broken. I don't know. There's, I, I, don't really, I wonder what the meaning of that is, or well, is there anything? Dropping the keys is probably like, hey, here's your keys. Go home. Like People keep handing him his keys. Go home. Go home. Like At home is next to your club. Hmm. <laughs> you know, that's where Jane is. Mm -hmm. 
And if he'd been home, he would have been able to talk to Jane more, maybe, too. Sure. Sure, he would have charged his phone. Yeah. He would have seen the messages. Okay. He would have gotten the calls. Yeah. But instead, hmm. he has a hell of a story for his kids. <laughs> That's a hell of a story. Well, yeah. He jumped off, like, a three or four Dude, story he vanished. <laughs> like, yeah. I think, like, like, you know, like, when you jump into water, right? Like, sure, this way hurts a lot more. Yeah. But you go much deeper this way. Yeah. So, like, if I'm jumping in the trash and I'm hoping it's soft enough that I'll survive, I'm jumping this way to try to take up as much space and I mean, slow I wouldn't, my fall I wouldn't jump can, into yeah. water in that that amount of water in a dumpster like that from there. No. I feel like I'd smash the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let alone trash. <laughs> it's yeah. not like you fell into, like, the mattress store trash. No. <laughs> and, like, well, you know, there could be beer bottles and shit. In yeah, those. it could be open, like, I mean, cans. I know London recycles more, you know, yeah, than, I'm like, sure. the U.S. does. But I don't still, wanna, like, I'm not, I'm not going in their trash. <laughs> that just means, like, there could be other things in there. There could be tomato steaks. Yeah. You don't know. Tomato steaks. Huh? But, like, the dropping the keys may have been a thing, too. Like, the yeah. lady in red, we questioned if that was real there in the beginning, too. Yeah. Then the lady in red, I was thinking about, like, the Matrix and, yeah. like, how the lady in red there is, like, a distraction. Mm -hmm. Sure. And trouble. And that she, song. But no, she's just a lady that picks up dudes in bars while and she's going to a bar, a bar while she, pregnant. She did and not pick she, up a dude in a bar. She did not? No. Is it not she there? picked him up out on the street. And she was giving him she, eyes. <laughs> you can't you can't look at someone and be like smiling and stuff? We all know what was happening when those looks were being exchanged. So someone smiling at you means they they they, they, they want you. It's, I think I mean, that's kind of an it's more than like oh my god that guy's looking at me <laughs> look away <laughs> yeah yeah well, I mean you could be like oh that was nice of him or whatever and stuff too but it doesn't mean that she wants to pick him up and then she didn't take him home until he had a giant hole in his ass yeah in his ass yeah and she had something for pants so yeah I don't so know he was some kind of he was giving her platonic eyes in the bar I didn't say he was giving her platonic eyes yeah okay I'm not saying it was strange yeah, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that he was giving her platonic yeah. eyes. He looked at her, he nodded to her, mm -hmm. then he was looking at her, then he followed her and stuff too. Mm -hmm. But just because she was like smiling at him and stuff doesn't mean she was like, hey, come back to my place. But, but I'm they, not saying... Then they went back to her place. Not then though. <laughs> she didn't pick him up in the bar. After that, they went back to her place. After he ripped his pants and was kicked uh -huh. out of the club and she happened to be on the street and it has some fetish for pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's mostly just about the pants. She took him back to her place so she could fix the pants and keep the pants. Yeah. She wants to have that memory forever. To be fair, she bought those pants with the other pair of pants. Traded. Like, yeah. I'm saying like her pants collection has stayed the same. Sure, yeah. In terms maybe she traded up. Pants. Maybe those pants were like... Maybe it's more of a bad memory. Or a bad memory. Or, sure. Yeah. She had a rack of memories. Yeah. It was a nice rack. I suppose. Holding all, all those pants. Yeah. I'd, Stop. I I don't know. I, for some reason, I feel like someone that's collecting the, the pants of the, the the men in their life, I'd be like, that's strange. I'm not, <laughs> that's I'm not saying weird. it's not, I'm not, I don't think it's not weird. It's not, it's not common. I feel like I might leave. But, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be killed for my pants. But that kind of stuff happens <laughs> on a blue moon. I, does it? <laughs> full moon, crazy lady. Yeah. That one guy got enraged yeah. on the full moon, you yeah. know? Not because he could see better at night. <laughs> so the, like, the sun's rays reflect off the moon and then hit our brains. And we start going nuts. Maybe yeah, it's like gotcha. radiation and stuff. You know? It's radiation. I don't know. I just, I mean, that part I made up. <laughs> that part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure radiation is a real thing, Aaron. No, no, no. I mean, like bouncing off the moon. That's why oh. it's hitting us, you know, because the radiation from the sure. moon. No, yeah. That part I made up. It's really cheese rays. Easier for people to kiss my ass. And I like that. Natural, Dude, I loved pants. his Oxford professor moment. Like, that yeah. was great. Mm -hmm. I loved yeah. it. He did this accent thing and and just went with it. And those guys were like, hey. And then they got to the point where those all guys were like, hey, we're not really from Oxford. And, yeah. <laughs> and they just like, we don't care. Cool. We're, we're having fun. Easter. Yeah, good time. <laughs> they had a limo and so they, Renee let them into the, the secret the entrance to the pitch. Mm hmm. Are, are churches open 24 7? Uh, some, but not like, many. There's a lot of times, like, movies and yeah. TV shows and stuff, too. It's just late at night. Someone's in trouble, whatever. And they always go to, like, a church. The yeah. doors are always open. There's always, like, a priest around. Yeah. You know? And I'm yeah. like, is this common? They'll close up for the night. But they'll stay open sometimes. I mean, generally, especially, like, you know, a church like that, there's mass every night. You know? So they'll stay open and keep that open. They'll have, uh... Confession open. They'll have, uh... Crap, I can't remember the, the sacrament of the lighting of the candles... 
But yeah, they'll stay open, but they'll they'll lock up like at nine or ten. So that, so sometimes, no, but not. <laughs> but I mean, in bigger cities, sometimes. Yes. I mean, because like, I was wondering, in New York, it depends how many like that. people yeah. they have. In Everybody the works all shifts. Like know? here, they're not going to be open all night. But like, probably not. Well, like I, I wouldn't like, be surprised I grew up if the, it was one or two, maybe. Like I grew up going to St. Mary's, and St. Mary's has the rectory right beside it. So if like the priest would say, like at any time if you need something, come there, and then we can get, let you into the church. But it's not. The door is open. Yeah, you can't just walk into the church. Yeah. Usually, like sit on the pew, pray yeah. to God, go to confession. But in bigger cities, bigger dioceses, they're going to have more people there. You know, generally here you have one or maybe two people yeah. that are responsible for that type of thing. It's just whenever he did that, and like sure, like this one here, like it might have been attached to the club or whatever, so it was more yeah. of like a front or something. I don't know what was going on there, but I was. I assumed it was some type of like, I don't know. I don't think it was. An, was it an active church? I don't know. I mean, it looked. Taken it looked care pretty of. active. Yeah. But like I think of like movies and stuff where like oh man this guy's mm-hmm. this this woman's hiding from the devil and it's two a.m. Yeah. Let me go to this church yeah. and there's always like how can I help you my sure. child you know sure. like someone there and stuff and then the devil shows up and like kills him or something <laughs> but <laughs> on hollow ground yeah but it just that kind of stuff like happens in movies all the time like other yeah. churches yeah. typically open late at night because I've never it happens in like had to go to a church late at night you know stuff like yeah. that yeah yeah no it 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 is possible it doesn't it's just not always available yeah you know it's just like if you watch movies and tv shows you think that that's just the yeah. norm that's how it should be. it's always like that yeah i mean you never I mean, probably in bigger cities yeah you never yeah. have like the detectives and they're on the case and they're trying to get you know to this next person like oh they're at the dentist today it's like, oh, to the dentist yeah okay i'll come back tomorrow all right <laughs> you know you, you always see it work out <laughs> for them to do something sure yeah, it could have been at the dentist could have been at the that dentist makes sense yeah once in a blue moon go to the dentist getting your mouth drilled Yep. Uh, <laughs> definitely the most unique episode of Ted Lasso. Excuse me. Ted Lasso. And uh, I just, I want bad things to happen to Jamie's dad. Yeah. Like real bad. Like James. glory bad at this point. Yeah. I'm getting upset. Glory bad would be good. I think Although. Glory, glory broke me though. I don't think I should have, I, I don't think I should be like this, but I am. Well, I think the reason... Glory was so good is because all of us are like this. Yeah, maybe. And, like, a lot of them, like, objectively deserve the bad things. Yeah. Like Jamie's, like, the guy's a dick, you know, but the way they attack... James? Yeah, yeah, James' father. James... James, J- James Tart. James Tart. Jamie's dad. Absolutely. Like, coming out of the light in this weird tunnel, and he had his, you know, two buddies with him, and just gonna beat the shit out of this guy. Yeah. That... Hit him, and he wanted, yeah. I yeah, get it. after fucking deserving it, piece of shit. Well, I mean, sure. And then, ag- again, like, for, at, once all that had happened, like, in the morning, like, for your, something's gonna happen. For your point of view, but from his point of view, he doesn't see himself as a piece of shit. He just sees a guy who hit him into a door, threw him out of the place. Let's show this guy how to play. And, like, that's what he was doing. So I get, I get his point of view a little bit, too. Three on one. If you, shit move. If you didn't. Yeah. No one is arguing that. <laughs> Not even. I'm just saying, Mr. Tart I, is like, ah, yeah, it's a piece of shit move. <laughs> I like, how, like if, if you're like, I don't know. I'm just thinking like if some guy like punched me, kicked yeah. me out of a place, mm-hmm. and I saw him in the streets or something like that, and I was like trying to get revenge. Probably me and my buddies would hit him. Like you're doing the same thing now, where like you get a bigger group to go take sure. out him and his three buddies. It depends right? on what instigating. All you're doing all is just this. growing the revenge. Cycle. I understand. There's a cycle of violence. Really but one started better. at one spot, right? One starts with. Him treating this person terribly. So he's at fault. He gets punched. Okay. Now we're good. We're even now. Yeah, but now you're not He doesn't respect the ass-kicking. But you're not... You're, you're, you're missing a step. I'm not. You, you literally are. I think... You're okay. skipping Beard being involved at all, which... Yeah, no, I mean, I understand. You're like, you just skipped over that. Yeah. And you're like, you're even. Beard was in the right what he did. The father was in the wrong. I mean, I understand. Anybody that defends it is wrong. Him taking him, <laughs> him taking him out of the room, I think, was justified. Yeah. And, like, you can be like, oh, yeah, I love that he got that cheap shot of running, running him in the door in there. But he didn't have to do that either. Right? Uh, like, if you're saying the punch was justified and there yeah. you go, we're good, mm-hmm. that's just an extra cheap shot that you didn't need. Right? Like, Jamie's the one who should be upset, not Beard. Beard's not a part of that. Beard's not being harassed by Jamie's dad. Jamie was. So yeah. Jamie punching his dad seems justified. Beard just got an extra cheap shot in there for maybe a reason, but yeah. I mean, not being a real part of it. Mess with I mean? one of us, mess with all of us kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Sure. Too, also. Well, if that's the idea, then you shouldn't be upset that the three guys 
all take on beard when they come across him, because if you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. So now you're just openly justifying what they did. <laughs> he pulled out a pipe. That part after the- And that's the only part that I'm saying, like, let's go fuck this guy up. Like, I- You never brought the pipe until just now! The pipe's you the most no, important part. part. And that t- takes it to attempted murder. I get you there. Yeah. Like, I can- I can So say, we're like, gonna okay. go fuck this guy up. I can- I, If you're gonna say, like, he was trying to murder this yeah. man- now you're taking it to another step there. I'd, I'd be like, should I understand have, that. You're right. But I should you have not it up the attempted murder. Now. <laughs> I thought it was apparent. It you, wasn't. You did. You're just like, <laughs> he said it. He no. said it in the reaction. In the reaction, like, he oh did. Oh my gosh, but now here, we, need to, we need to go and like get this guy. Yeah, yeah, like, it, get him off the street. Yeah. He's like, he come across your three guys, you're all taking him on. I mean, that's just dishonorable, sure. The pipe thing But if you want to be like, he was going to murder him, you need to go after him back. Yeah. Like, just call the cops and say he was going to murder. How about you do that? And you don't have to like take more guys to go do that and you just... You just keep doing it. How about charge for assault? No. Assault charges. How about that? Enough. I want to look at my a, face. I want to create assault a, and battery. I want to create a this? campaign of fear. My I friend, a who's of, huge, I can't gas- save me from death. I want to gaslight him, and then you throw him in jail for the rest of his life, or at least like five years, maybe. I don't know. Like hire like, Cut his Achilles. Hire like ten people Never to make it so that no matter where he goes, he's always a flat tire. <laughs> you, <laughs> <laughs> he gets an Uber. It's a flat tire. You know? <laughs> I just want to mess with him. <laughs> give it, get a restraining order from from uh, Jamie, yeah. which keeps him from any football field. Yeah, that would be nice. Like though. he can never go to another like football game. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, That'd affect him for life. Sure. Rather than flat Take away his, like, his British ESPN subscription. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take football away from him. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, that was a, a fantastic episode. Ted Lasso certainly had a great discussion Very with it. And, yeah, do we just go back to normal now? Well, yeah, because the blue moon's gone. Blue moon's no gone. No more full moon? No more yep. blue moon. Yep. The radiation. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed Ted Lasso with us. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's episode. And check out blindweb.com. You can find early access, full length, and much more, including polls, recommendations, all kinds of stuff. That's all I have to say. That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs>